Like a moth to a flame, it pulls the same. Next thing we know, we're in a now bear's den. Tomorrow, I know it all begins again. But where we're needed, we will go. And I'll go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Heroes of the Plains. Uh, we are back after a week off in which I have to say a lot of us got together and we got to exchange very safe, um, vaccinated hugs and greetings. So that was a really great time to be together. But we missed you and we are back now. And word is we might have brought a stowaway with us back from Barovia, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Uh, before we get into it, quick thanks to our sponsors. Thank you to Hero Forge. Um, thank you to Sirenscape because epic games need epic sound. Uh, thank you to Idle Champions. Uh, we have a chess code appearing in chat here as well. Now, because we were off last week, and because we're completely out of sync, I do just have to verify one quick thing. We do not have a Hero Forge giveaway this week, correct? Oh, uh, we do. We do! We have a Hero <laughs> Forge giveaway, so there you we go. Do. Yeah, pay attention to chat at the half so that you can get it. So, before we dive in, let's introduce these beautiful people that we are with here today. Uh, starting with that booming baritone that just uh, pointed out our Hero Forge giveaway, Adam. Hi, I'm Adam Bradford. I'm a Chief Development Officer at Demiplane. You can find me on Twitter at BadEyeAdam. I also have a charity game coming up uh, in two weeks on September the 11th that I will share a little bit more about uh, next week that I'm really looking forward to. It's uh, called Lost Lizard Land, where uh, it's going to involve dinosaurs <laughs> it's, uh, because I love them. And so uh, looking forward to that. That's what I've got going on. Excellent. Lauren? Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator for Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. I also have a charity game coming up that you should totally watch and donate to because charity. It's going to be on Saturday, September 4th at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Team Squad Up Twitch channel. It includes such amazing people as people who are in this game right here. I'll, I'll let them out themselves. Also, Eugenio Vargas and uh, TTRPG Gifts and Goblin Katie and a couple of other people and wonderful things. And so you should totally come and totally watch us and donate to uh, an amazing cause. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a request for dinosaurs because apparently Adam's game's going to have dinosaurs. So Done. Done. There will be dinosaurs. Yeah. Perfect. Now, let it. me make a note. Ask and ye shall receive. Uh, Jen? Hello. I am Jen Kretschmer. You can find me on Twitter as at DreamWisp. You can find me on Twitch as DreamWisp Jen. Um, you can uh, find me starting next week on Wednesdays. I'm doing a fun and exciting uh, new show with Keith Baker set in Eberron. Uh, we're going to be playing with some of the Decemberists, and we're going to be doing some some fun and exciting uh, technomancy adventures. Um uh, I'm one of the authors on Candlekeep Mysteries. I'm an actor, writer, producer. I'm the creator of the Accessibility and Gaming Resource Guide and the Disabled Professionals in Tabletop Directory, both of which you can find information on in my pinned tweet. And along with B. Dave, I am currently one of the judges of the DMs Challenge for D&D, &D, uh, which is going into the finals, which is really amazing. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, there was one other thing I was going to talk about. Oh, for, for PAX West, I have a panel uh, about accessibility and gaming. I believe it is Friday at 9 a.m., I think. Uh, but double check your your schedules <laughs> for that. And more stuff to come. And yes, that's me. Excellent. Hope. Hi, I'm Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. You can also listen to me play some more D&D &D on Attackers of Opportunity, wherever you can find podcasts. Uh, I will also be in the charity game with Lauren 
uh, this Saturday. And she already gave all the details, but definitely it's going to be a really fun time and it's going to be a really great charity that we are playing for. And that's it. Uh, Megan? Sorry, I was muted. Uh, hey everyone, I am Megan Kenrick, and you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Megan Kenrick. That is R E K T. Um, I will also be in a charity stream on September 25th for Quest for the Cure, um, being DM'd by Tanya DePass um, with a whole bunch of great players like Duval, King Jacob, Paul Shapiro, Noir Enigma, uh, and myself with a special secret guest yet to be announced, I believe. Um, be sure to check that out. I think that's 1 p.m. Pacific. Excellent. And it is I, B. Dave Walters. You can find me where all, all, wherever fine streaming content is located on the interwebs. I primarily say nice things about Todd Kenrick. Uh, you can find me usually on Wednesdays on uh, twitch.tv Sandy Games for uh, Champions of Lore at 11 a.m. Um, in the morning. Thursdays, 4 p.m. Pacific on D&D, Twitch, and YouTube for the Black Dice Society. Um, all over the place, judging the DM challenge, as Jen said, and all other kinds of things that I don't expect you to keep track of, because I barely can, and I'm there for all of them. And with that, I hand you over to our fearless DM to introduce himself and take us in. Yeah, if you acquire enough B-Daves, you eventually get a token for one Todd Kenrick, uh, where d and is sold. <laughs> so true. I'm like the Emperor Palpatine back in... <laughs> <laughs> Remember Emperor Palpatine? You had to send in yeah. all your tokens? Yeah. You. No, Todd, they don't. You, me, and Adam do. They do not. Yeah. Three of us got it. <laughs> really funny, guys. You missed out on a good joke. Uh, I mean, I just wanted the Boba Fett. That's all. Yeah. yeah. I really so want all, one now. You're also a woman of culture. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm Todd Kenrick. I am the dungeon master of these lovely people, and I feel horribly guilty for what is about to befall them. So let's <laughs> no, go ahead no, and get don't. started. I, I do a little line. bit. Yeah, I nah. do. Bring it on. And scarily, a, you're the one in control of that. So this is a story of saying. and Ravenloft. Yeah, but, him and but the we're knife. out of Ravenloft, and so now it's just a story of fire and brimstone. This, the real Ravenloft is the horror we brought along the way. That mm -hmm. is true. <laughs> I've, uh, I've brought tons of horror. I'm ready. So previous on the, previously on Heroes of the Plains, you all were whisked away to the lands of Ravenloft. You uh, faced off with the Elder Brain to an extent and made a deal. Uh, with Freely's former boss, his former elder brain that had converted him into a mind flare. You helped uh, take down a Dark Lord and destroy an entire domain by your actions. You also, more recently, fought Strahd, where Strahd came out of the castle directly at you. He came at you hard and fast, and some people died, and some people came back again. And you, after after finding out that there was kind of a bubble that pr protected any kind of divination, uh, Whittle cast Mislead, uh, which is an interesting way, a way around divination spells, apparently. Uh, Mislead got into the castle, was able to kind of figure out where Rend was. You were able to dimension door into that location and pull, uh, pull yourselves out of Ravenloft itself after having fought bravely strawed and you rescued rend the warforge construct however when you did plane shift back to storm herald to the prime material plane you found that rend was possessed by Strahd's soul itself and that all the research you had discovered in previous episodes was only for one goal how to take a spirit of an undead and place it inside of a construct and so now we find ourselves on Storm Herald, depleted, worn down, beaten down. And it's at this time, Strahd is going to make an attack. Well, you're going to watch everyone you love die. Or Kira Snickers. At least I have people that I love. You set my home on fire. Die. Now I'm going to set your entire home on fire. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think you are. I disagree. What's well, your armor class? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that depends on if I'm being attacked or not. Uh, uh, does a 24 hit you? Yes. By how much? 
More by than one. four? By one. Okay, uh, my wing comes out. It's a reaction. Um, let me see if I can... What's your armored class? Well, if I use shield, okay, then, it's so... 20, then it's 23. Okay, so you are, casting, you are casting shield as a reaction? Yes. Okay. Okay, and so does the shield, is that enough to stop it, or do you still need no, it? No, it's off by one. It. All shield, right. Shield puts me at 22. What does your wing do? Uh, my wing comes out and is going to help knock some of this attack away. Um, uh, your armor class goes up by two. <gasps> That's exactly what I need. What, how, how, how do you do this? Like, how does this kind of manifest for you, Orkira? Uh... I'm next to Whittle snickering at everything that Strahd has just said and listening to Whittle talk smack right back at Strahd. And so when he, is he trying to hit her? Is he trying yeah, to- Yeah, he's trying to strike at her. And Ren's, you know, Ren's form is completely possessed of Strahd. So he just has this red glowing blood mist energy kind of pouring and steaming out of his eyes and his mouth this entire time and he seems to be getting larger and larger as every second goes by and so Whittle's shield goes off and my wing comes out and I my wing smacks his arm just enough so that it's now a glancing blow off her shield and nothing happens okay uh is this is this happening within five feet of freely it is happening within five feet of freely uh, that is enough to provoke a sentinel attack from me because he doesn't have to hit with the attack. He has to attack. I just made sure to read it. So, you, yep, yep. Uh, real, 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 real quick, Straw just turns his mechanical, broken, melted helmet towards you, Arcara, and just opens up his teeth and his metallic fangs. He becomes more and more, he looks more and more like a, vamp, a robot vampire as time goes oh, on, no. and you can feel the full weight of his rage on you. Uh, ahead, she continues really. to snicker at him. <laughs> uh, you notice while everybody is like laughing and sassy, Freely is a thousand percent all business. Like his face is just completely a mask because uh, he's a little worried right now. Uh, is, a, is a dirty 20 enough to hit him? It's not, it has to be a 22. Uh, let me read one other thing to see if I can make it a 22. I just have to check one thing here, sorry. I apologize, like I'm getting, I'm getting No, down. no, no, this I'm, is okay. This is yeah. combat. It's and, been, it's uh, like we've been gone for two weeks and we're playing well, high level characters or something. Yeah. That, that and I kind of exhausted a lot of Freely's options <laughs> in the last fight. Um. I am going, I just need to see if this has to only be on an attack roll. Oh, that's when I take the, you know, I'm gonna cash in my favorite by the gods to add 2d4 to this. Okay. So, that gets it up to 21, that gets it up to 24. Excellent, you hit. Uh, I think you see me hit and just like grunt a little bit with the sun blade. Like, mm, eh. <sighs> uh, drop another smite on him, though. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, I will say that as, as this is going off, I very much say out loud against my better judgment to Briv that I'm like, ah, Briv, I don't know how many more of these I got, okay? <laughs> um, uh, and you say he is currently no longer, he is no longer undead, right? Technically, no. All right, so the, 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 I don't get my Sunblade bonus on him. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. But I do get this. Okay. Rolling now, sorry. No problem. And his, and his speed drops to zero uh, from my sentinel attack. That's good to know. Uh huh. That's the real reason <laughs> why I did it. I'm like, you're not going any. Ooh, for a hundred. What? <laughs> oh no, wait. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I thought I was rolling one d10. That's uh, that. And I, I rolled. I rolled a d100 instead of one d10. That's that my fault. That's my fault. Sorry. I was like, freely, I, you're out of stuff, well, eh? No, I, <laughs> Two I, I, zeros, I, one zero. Don't, don't get you, take, me wrong. you just take the tens place on it. I mean, yeah. he's he's done it before, but no, not just you time. turn your it chest into a cannon and shoot your right. heart at him. <laughs> yeah, a moment. <laughs> oh, and I rolled awfully. Oh no, I rolled terribly. Only thirty three points of damage. Oh, uh, ooh, well, hold on. Wait, there's a there's a plus. That, oh no, there's thirty nine points of damage. Thirty nine, and his speed drops to zero. 
Okay, so another six. Yep, sorry. Sorry, sorry. All right, his speed is down to zero. Uh, mm -hmm. You got off your reaction. Mm -hmm. And now his turn, because he's still on his turn. But I, mm -hmm. I went ahead and let you do your reaction first. He's mm -hmm. going to hit Orkira. <laughs> Orkira does a 30 hit. Oh, sure. No. <laughs> Orkira, you take 27 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. He's going to hit you again. Okay. That's another 30. Sure. And that's 34 points of damage on top of that. Okay. And then you see this mechanical version of Strahd just kind of puff up and you see kind of like the swelling of all this red mist all swirl out of his eyes into his own mouth and out of the place where his heart is to start vibrating and there is an explosive necrotic blast. Everyone, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I need a 26 or higher. Uh, we next to close enough to Briv for. Yes, you are. Everyone's very tight quarters. I figured. Okay. Is that how much is that currently, then Briv? I did not make it. Plus four. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-one. Ooh, twenty-nine. <laughs> you might be the only person that made it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. Slippery halfling. No, uh, Briv got a twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. Yep. Seventeen. All right, everyone who failed, you take 29. Everyone who succeeded, you take half. Do we still have a temp of six? Was that from... Yes. Okay. If you had temps, that would have been from me. They, they're they still there. Okay, excellent. Sorry, how much was the damage? Todd? 29, if you didn't. 29 if you failed, half if you didn't. Okay. And Ooh. that brings us to Penelope Halfpint. Yeah, definitely hurts. You glance like a little piece of armor off of him with your little <laughs> sentinel strike. And Strahd, Strahd's not overly fond of reactions, first of all. The fact that he didn't land a blow against Whittle angered him greatly. And then on top of that, for someone to like then stab him like in his armpit <laughs> while he's trying to make an attack on a Rakara. Now he's very, very angry. Mm. Well, get in line, buddy. Penelope? Yeah. It's all you. Get in line. Um, <laughs> how big is Storm Herald? Uh, big? I mean... Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a very small keep. Have you been to Scotland? <laughs> uh, it's not um, the size of Scotland. I'm just trying to give you, like... Make you know. Storm Herald. Okay. Oh, what the what the heck? Do it. Do what it. the heck? Okay. Do it. Um, Penelope pulls out her sword of the wound. And she looks at it, and she thinks really hard, and she goes, "There it is." And then she's gonna look up at Strahd, and before she does anything, she casts Moonbeam at seventh level on him. Tell me about Moonbeam. Okay. <clears throat> um, silvery, pale, pale beam of light, uh, five foot radius, 40 foot high, will land on a creature of my choice, uh, engulfed in ghostly fames, uh, constitution saving throw 17, um, and you'll take radiant damage or half as much on a save. Uh, dirty 20? Okay, so you'll take half of 45, which is 23. All right. And then um, that will be my concentration spell that I will keep concentration on as Penelope wiggles her butt and stretches her neck out and wild shapes into a brontosaurus. <laughs> Why? Dave, you asked for a dinosaur. I did, I did. <laughs> I believe I requested it overtly. Yes. This is going to get nasty. Mm-hmm. Moonbeam yep. also f prevents shape-shifting, right? That is correct. I think so. Uh, yeah, let me double-check that. I think that is the case. <clears throat> All right, Freely, you're on deck. If there's nothing else from... You are a Brontosaurus right now? 
Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, she made a good point. Uh, shape shifting makes it save and throw at disadvantage. I don't know if it's shift anything, but that is. Uh, it will revert to its original form. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, gotcha. All right, Freely. No you're... missed times. You are back on deck. I just... And uh, Strahd is suddenly a little surprised as looking at a giant <laughs> brontosaurus. <laughs> yeah, looks like you don't know everything, buddy. Uh, hey, Rand, 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 if you're in there, fight back. And I touch Strahd and I cast protection from good and evil. Ooh, because man. if if Rand can, has a chance to break the possession, he rolls with advantage. Mm -hmm. It doesn't It doesn't automatically eject him. But anything that gives him a roll, the roll will be with advantage to free himself from Strahd. Oh, this is weird. Okay. <laughs> uh... All right, but that's not his turn. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. That... Okay, that's your... Okay, you ca you cast protection. Don't let me forget about it. I, I won't. Um, again, I know we're theater of the mind here. Roughly how far are we from the control room? I'd say the, the control room is a good full action dash. Like like you've uh, been up and down these stairs, all of you, so many times that you kind of know like the sneaky ways. Like sometimes you, you know, <laughs> when you're when you're used to a skyscraper, you just kind of like jump those steps a few times. <laughs> like <laughs> freely after hitting him with protection from evil, freely's leaving to go to the control room. I can't let Strahd stay on the prime material plane. Like he's like. Oh, pew. <laughs> Okay, Freely mm -hmm. has left combat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not the only one. I'm on my way there too. Yep. Uh, Freely, that does provoke uh, an attack of opportunity. Though. I thought. I thought it might. Yeah. I thought it might. Strahd lashes out at you. Like you just touch him, and he kind of feels like the goodness of your ma your magic kind of like burn into the armor, and he's just like. He has used his reaction already, though, this turn, hasn't he? No, I don't believe so. Uh, no, he, oh, okay. he yeah, attacks and legendaries and all that. I don't think it was his, it's my reaction, not his. Yeah, he's not used the legendary, and uh, that's a different yeah. action economy yeah. for reactions as it turns, yeah, yeah, it turns yeah, out. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, does yeah, a 26 yeah. hit you? Uh, hold on a second. Let's see, does it? Uh, yep, I cannot, I cannot escape a 26. Could you with additional help? Yeah. Like how I mean, high can you get it? I can get to 24. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my reaction then. Okay. Um, to uh, use glorious defense. And um, I'm going to add plus four to his uh, armor class. And then I get to make one weapon attack against the attacker as part of the reaction. Wow, that would have been 34 points of damage there, Freely. <laughs> He really can't take too terribly much more, by the way. He's a little beat up. But uh, how do you how do you block it, Briv? Can you describe it to me? So, uh, what was he attacking with? Again? His fist. Okay, so he uh, you know goes to uh, slam down, and um, I just step under it, and basically start forming steel on my arm and just block it, and I'm like holding it there. And then um, I'm, I'm going to stab up under with uh, Steadfast. As you do so, for the first time in your entire life, you feel your netheries armor, I mean, the, the, the your actual bones bend a little bit. And there is a horrible metal-wrenching sound all over Storm Herald as you these two colossuses just cross arms. All right, that's going to be that. But Briv wins attack is uh, 17 plus 11 is <laughs> is that 28 or no Wait, 28 would 17, hit 17 11 yes. 28 yeah yeah 28 I will just say when Briv jumps out and saves me here I just yell as I'm scrambling away Briv do not let him leave and, <laughs> and yeah. keep, keep running so uh, I'm going to go ahead and smite on that as well since that doesn't take an action and go can ahead. be done on a reaction so Mm -hmm. um that is going to be third level because i'm out of fourth level so that would be let's see um plus so let me do this um, uh, 
So six, 16 plus 28 is 44. Wow. Yeah, 44 points of damage. Uh, for the record, Todd, his speed is zero for the rest of the turn. Yep. Even though I even though I've left. So. Gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan and purveyor of Sentinel. So. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and I I'm uh, he is not undead or a fiend or any of that at this point. Not right? anymore. Yeah, no. not, cur- not currently. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So 44 points of damage. And we are now on Briv's turn. Um, so I'm I don't know to... that I've seen that many reactions in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> a lot happening. This is high stakes, okay? So I'm yeah. going to go ahead and use a bonus action. So as I'm holding the arm still and have attacked, I'm going to use a bonus action. And you almost um, see that um, as the, the sword is there, I uh, start to uh, adjust my grip on it. And as I do and try to like shove it in just a little bit more, you see a little bit of energy, uh, you know, come out of the metal in, in my pores um, and, and feed into the sword again. I'm going to recover a third level, the third level spell slot that I just used to smite. I'm going to recover that with a bonus action. And then I'm going to attack again. Okay, go ahead. And that is, let's see, so I'm getting two attack. That's another 17 plus 11. So, so what is. we've seen is Strahd in his mecha form basically tries to strike Whittle. Whittle like erupts a shield. The shield starts to break apart and then Rakara puts her wing in front of that and then freely stabs into his armpit at the same time. Then he takes a swing at Rakara. Then all this is a lot. A lot is going on. In like 24 seconds. In 24 seconds. And less than that. It's yeah. been, it hasn't even been around yet. It's oh, been yeah. four it's seconds. seconds. Yeah, that's true. This is also. Yep. Yep. Um, all right. So 34 plus 15 is. Sorry, the first attack was a 28. I'm assuming Thank that you. hit since the other one hit. No, you're totally the, fine. The next, the next one was a 27. So. 27 um, damage. Okay. Yeah. So then I need to roll that damage again because I'm smiting, going ahead yep. and smiting on both. Okay. Um, and so that's 49 on the first uh, attack. And then on the second attack, it's going to be that was lower. So 10 plus. Um, so 10 plus 23. So that's 33 additional points. So 49 plus 33 plus 44. Perfect. Math. And then um, at, at this point, um, I simply, like, as I'm still holding the arm up, I say, why don't thou pick on someone thine own size? <laughs> He's very, very angry. And at this moment, he opens up his mouth and this blood suffused flame just explodes out of his mouth directly in front of you in a 10 foot line that is 120 feet long and he's aiming at you and Orkara. I need dexterity saving throws from both of you. Okay. Uh, you being Briv, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, yeah. no, Briv and or Orkara or, or being targeted by this. And you said okay. dexterity? Dexterity saving throw, uh, 26. I failed. Failed as well. Uh, please forgive me. Did, were any of us death warded? I apologize. Nope. I, I didn't think so. You know I, who's death? Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Alindra is. You know who else is? Rend. <laughs> yep. And you all know that. How how, how, how does that work though? Uh, when he <laughs> takes enough damage to drop. I guess all I'm saying is you death warded. Can you warded can Rend. you revoke like, Is this still Rend? No. <laughs> I don't have any control over it once it's cast because it's not concentration. Uh, once, and this is for Alindra too, once you uh, take damage that would drop you below zero hit points, instead you go to one. Once. Yeah. For the next eight hours. So, because you know, you failed, you take necrotic damage equal to 63 points of damage. Oh, I'm dead. Dead or down? Uh, down. Hmm. How do you fall down, Orkara? How, how do you die? 
Um, it's in this moment as the flames are coming out that I lean over to Briv because I'm getting ready to heal him. And I'm saying the thing about the death ward, like, we didn't have time to prepare and so I wasn't, you know, Alindra's death warded, but also, you know, Rend is death warded. And then the next thing Briv knows, I just stopped talking. You all see Orkara fall. And Whittle, you are, you are on deck. And just a healthy reminder, thank you to all the people that gave us wild magic surges. Alindra, it, everything has disadvantage when trying to attack you. And also, because it didn't really come into play, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but Penelope should have immunity to all damage for about a minute. But that didn't uh, come into play last game, did it? It did come into play last game. And okay, then it's been more than a it's minute. It's been more than a minute. And yeah. we'll, okay. Also, uh, I rolled a natural one on that save <laughs> to fail that. So that's going to be Chaos. another wild magic surge. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. All right. Whittle, that's all you. What are you doing? I'm not nervous. This is fine. <laughs> uh, so she looks at Strahd in this rend form, this armor that Whittle created for rend. Says, you know, one thing I know about rend is that He's not a good dancer. He's got two feet. Anytime we were playing catch, he would drop the intellect of ours. And anytime he got out of bed on Storm Herald, he'd always hit his shins, somehow. Not the most de dexterous boy. And I'm going to cast Disintegrate on Strahd. Does he save on a deck 17? Uh... 17 is the difficulty. He is... Uh, yeah, he is technically in Ren's body, so... It's a 14. Ooh. How much damage was that? 93. And if it gets him, he uh, evaporates. He's disintegrated. Yes, yep. he turns to ash. How does that work with Death Ward? I'm curious. Um, actually, I think Disintegrate gets around it because it's just if it would. Because, well, let me look up Death Ward. Yeah, and I'm reading Disintegrate. If you dropped a zero. Uh, hold on a second. I mean, either way, that's good news if he's asking about that. The first time a target would drop to zero hit points as a result of taking damage. I, the target instead drops to one hit instead, point. So no, it doesn't actually hit, ever hit zero. Well, well, I've asked yeah. Jeremy this specifically before because of half orcs, and uh, the answer is he never hits zero. So I know that's yeah. bad news for the party, but that's what the answer is. It does say instead, and then the, I'm reading disintegrate. The target is disintegrated if this damage leaves it with zero hit points. So you never bounce to zero. You stop at one. So he's at one hit point. Ooh. No, Ooh. no. What? He yeah. goes to zero and it disintegrates him because he, he, it would kill him. Does it, does, well, did Death Ward say you go to zero and return to one or you never go to zero? I think that's, says, what, that's what it all comes down the to. The first time the target would drop to zero hit points as a result of taking damage, the target instead drops to one hit point and the spell yeah. ends. I don't think so he's disintegrated. I think he, I think he has one hit point. Yeah. All would. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the good mm -hmm. news is you all see the death ward go off because um, <laughs> as as he's about to die, the flaming wings come out of his back. And so you kind of all know where he is. Whittle, describe to me how he disintegrates Strahd, but he does not die. But I still want a description <laughs> as you've actually managed to land disintegrate. <laughs> mm -hmm. The second time ever, like in, in the span of two days or three days. Um, mm. So you see Whittle load a pinch of dust into her blunderbuss of power. It's the same blunderbuss, but just a little beefier. As she she aims and kind of rests it on her wrist, uh, aims it at Strahd, and you see a thin green ray spring from the blunderbuss of power. As this thin green ray approaches Strahd, you hear something that sounds like tectonic plates hitting each other. As it envelops Strahd in this 
Ren's armor, you see the green aura envelop his body and almost implode from within with a white light. It, look, it looks like an exploding planet. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's amazing. And Whatever all the armor on, on Ren basically falls off, and now there's this, this kind of blood spirit made out of scrap metal as it falls down to zero and then just kind of pops back up again with one hit point left. Anything else? That's it. He wants to do the final blow. Uh... One second, I need to check something. Get him, Alundra. Do you have any bonus actions? What was this, AC? Can I... um, Would I be able to do boots of speed and stab him with a dagger? Like, that's... I can't. I don't think I have anything else. Boots of speed and stab him with a dagger. <laughs> I mean, I don't really. I already like have a base walking speed of eighty. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, my notes say that you have your crown of stars up, still. I Ooh. believe I can only use that with a cantrip, though. Disintegrate was an eighth level spell. Crown of stars is a bonus action, I think. It's yeah, once you, once you have it cast, you're good. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. That was a problem we were running into before because you were trying to cast it, but you've already got it cast. You've already got it up. So now as yeah, a bonus yeah. action, you just grab and... But it's a leveled spell, but... Hey. No, but sorry, you already cast it, so... Um, So it's a 24 to hit. That barely hits. And the damage is probably more than one. Maybe. Well, let's, let's see. 32. <laughs> That's more than one. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. All right, how do you do this? Um, so you see Whittle put down one of her seven lenses, um, and you kind of see this little moat of radiant energy um, emit from the lens and just hit Strahd right in the forehead. <laughs> just as a little pink, just to knock him over, because he was almost totally down. Just wanted to knock him down to the floor. Alinda Freely, you get a really bad feeling as Straw just sort of explodes in just red lightning. Just kind of this this energy moves like a blast wave across everyone in the vicinity. Um, I need everyone to take... Oh. I need a dexterity saving throw 18. I automatically failed. Even Even me who had left... No, no, you're out. You're out of it. I have foreseen this moment, but this is gonna this is gonna kill our hero outright, right? That's no, I'll here? I'll take a failure on a death saving throw because I'll take damage. Okay. okay. But it won't it won't kill me yet. Okay. Uh, I thought you were out of portents. I had one left. Oh, okay. Um, so thirty-seven points of damage if you fail. Uh, thirty-seven and half of that if you succeed. Sorry, was that an 18 save? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Half of 37 is for people 18. that might want to know. 18. <laughs> and you see this kind of red lightning in this mist energy that it was once Strahd von Cerovich just kind of seep into Storm Herald for a moment. And as you, Alindra, and also uh, Freely, you get to the control room at the same time, you see this I haven't Red electricity to move yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, Sorry. Yeah. I, I got the impression you were already running. Sorry. Uh, this red electricity just kind of surrounds you in the control room freely. Is it my turn? Uh, it is not. It is not yeah, yeah. turn. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. so, so to clarify, just a couple of things. Strahd is caught in the moonbeam, so the, he shouldn't be able to cha- change. He did not shape change. Right? No. no he, okay. His energy has exploded out of him as he died. Okay, his sh- and his and shell got broken. So I'm being, I have a bad vibe about this. What, 
what am I getting off of that? All of Storm Herald is glowing red, and there's this red electricity just kind of flowing around it. Okay. Um... Is it the sort of thing where it seems like there is still a sentience to it? Yes, it definitely feels like there's still a sentience to it. Then I'm going to cast Banishment on it. Okay. So I will cast Banishment on on the thing. Because I don't think it's in any sort of tangible form, correct? It's not the kind of thing where I could like grab onto it and pull it and do something with it? No, it's not. Um, make a Strahd go. I can uh, go ahead and make an Arcana check because okay. you know enough about Strahd, I would say, at this point. 20. Dirty 20. Strahd is, though, t no Dark Lord's home domain is, in fact, Ravenloft. But you can to still cast Bashment. He was technically sucked into Ravenloft itself. He is not a creature of Ravenloft. There. A bold interpretation. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. He should stop saying he is the land then. Um, <laughs> Maybe they grabbed all his land. Too. That's time. interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting yeah. point of clarification. Uh, the mm -hmm. land did get sucked in with him. Uh, I will allow it. Yeah. Hmm. So what's the so say? All of all of Ravenloft is now here as well. No, 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 no. no. As I mean, Ravenloft. what I am saying is, oh. they sucked in Ravenloft in like his land with him mm -hmm. so yeah. I, ah, okay. I am so, siding so with Barovia, you on the Barovia was material plane that was right. drawn into okay yeah um, not every dark lord that's is that isn't true for every dark lord but very specifically for Barovia they, they just they snatched it all up they did a hoover for, for what it's worth I'm pretty sure Aslan and Strahd when they were BFF swapped banishments like let's just see how this works <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah they probably tried that one oh <laughs> uh, buddy it didn't work <laughs> uh, what's the save uh, the save is uh, da, 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 sorry uh, charisma 18 you're totally fine a lot's happening <laughs> it's 18 on the die. 13. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's right. That's the worst roll now, ever. You may not be here right now. I do that, and then I would like to healing word on Orkira. Okay, you cast healing word on Orkira. Okay. And... I can't cast you... it. I'll run over to her and give her a potion. Either or. Yeah, right. I don't think you can cast because that's two leveled spells. So if you got yeah, potions, yeah, it's two leveled yep. spells. Then I have a potion, and I will run over and. Down the gullet. <laughs> mm. that Not brings, today. That brings us to Brontosaurus. Uh, well, well, it actually brings it to me because... Oh, yeah, uh, you gotta much... make a death save. Well, no, because if she's pouring a potion down my throat, she's I got stable. health. Yeah, yeah, that's much... totally legit. Yeah, yeah. How much health do I get? Um, I have a... Uh, I actually can give you a superior healing potion, if you would like it. I mean... I have at the moment a negative a lot. So eight D four plus eight. Do you want that to roll may, it? That may have been an incredibly great potion if you guys want to check the uh, game mm -hmm. chat there for multiversal mm -hmm. magic. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> potion of Jimmy Bean over here. <laughs> that was the best potion ever that's of all the, time. That's the best one ever. Do I get to repick my spells if that's the case? Well, what what is the say it for the people that don't know what it is? <laughs> yeah, so that's the Alindra pours a potion down my throat, and apparently the it has some extra properties to it because I not only get the healing, I immediately get a long rest. 
Oh wow. God, I thought that was for me and that was for Strahd. I'm like, no. No, <laughs> no that was for the natural yeah. one that killed me. So I will take yeah. a long rest. You're all topped, sure. you're all topped off. Yeah, that wow. was clutch, chat. Clutch. That was, that was clutch. Perfect you. timing. Thank awesome. You, like MJ flu game. That is that is pretty awesome. So yeah. <laughs> oh wow. What was in that bottle? That was amazing. <laughs> Is he gone? We've been carrying it around for a while. Well, no, uh, he's, I, I'm just, uh, he's everywhere right now and I'm not quite sure what to do. So we have him contained and controlled for the next minute. So let's think of a plan very quickly, please. Quickly is better. When I look around, do I, because she's banished Strahd, do I, is like the red lightning, what's going on with Storm Herald? There is red lightning but it's being sucked away from the banishment freely you're in the control room and you hear all of storm herald start to power up like it's trying to go somewhere and you can kind of see all the knobs and everything else and it's trying to send itself somewhere else in the prime material plane right as the mo moment of this banishment Technically, it's not my turn. Can I do a thing, or is this just a thing I observe? <laughs> so, I, uh, you're you're, you're move, observing wanna... it. Wait, 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 I'll, I'll allow some, I want some to, chicanery. I want to jump us to the plane of fire. That is what I came here to do. I've I've seen the phoenix. I know where it is. Uh, like, <laughs> chunk. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough order. Uh, you. Or Caro, as you like, wake up and you've got all this this healing this healing uh, liquid coming out of you and everything else. What what is everyone doing at this moment? As Or has just come back from the death or near death, I should say. Do we? Um, really, is that you doing the power up? Ah, uh, I have some trouble up here. I think he's trying to do something. I think he's trying to do something. I'm gonna reach down. I would like to uh, place my claws on Storm Herald, and I'm going to cast Dispel Evil and Good. <laughs> uh, now, do we want to three, two, one this? <laughs> well, I mean, I if if I get the sense that a three, two, one would be helpful, I will. But here's what happens. Um, so I can just it's kind of the same thing as what freely did except mine has dismissal which is uh you attempt to drive the creature back to its home plane um let's see oh actually i can i think it just happens hold on and just to let you know so briv just... on my turn which is here in just a second is going to cast share a drink with good and evil because <laughs> apparently there's a variety of every one of these spells yeah so, I've got, so I'm actually probably doing his break enchantment. Um, Doogie book. <laughs> <laughs> and Boot the snoot of good and evil. Yeah. <laughs> out, 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 out. Just for good and evil. <laughs> Tommy's Herbers for good and evil. Yeah. So I'm assuming that now that Strahd has returned to his misty form, he is undead again, right? Uh, he is a thing. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so I sort of. I he is a. You'll you'll find out. <laughs> okay, so I. Well, he's in a moonbeam, so he shouldn't be able to shape change. He, he is absolutely not shape changing. Yeah, yeah, that has already been his, established. His, yeah, he yeah, is an energy that has suffused Storm Herald. That he is from this plane, so banishing him to a plane is ineffective because he's going to come back to the material plane. And actually, he's going to go back yeah. back. Yeah, he's because not you 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 said like we talked about like you you convinced me that he is okay. Popping back I'm sorry. Right now. Yep. He's okay. of the land. Yep. He's of the I land. Thought were, land. I thought you were saying that Barovia was sucked mm. into Ravenloft with him. So, it was, and, but that's why but, he's but, going but back there. But in that 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 was being considered of the material plane. No, no, that's so that's, being, that's the valid argument that for that you. Is, okay, at the end at the end of this minute, if I don't drop this in the next minute, he will be banished back to okay. So I'm not yeah. going to do this then. So this what is all kind of happening at the same time, FYI, I, with probably, the last few seconds. I, sorry, Todd, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's probably worth trying to eject him from the ship, though, because I don't know that I can stop him from doing whatever he's going to do for the next minute. Yeah, at the moment you say that, all of yours pop as all of Storm Herald oh. explodes into mist, and you see Storm Herald pop underneath a giant lightning storm above Castle Ravenloft. <gasps> I didn't get off my Dispel Evil and Good. You did not. Okay. But you can cast it now. Well, no, because... It defeats the purpose of what... The I gotcha. Was. But that's yeah. what the Banishment was doing. 
Mm. But they do. So, they're, they're doing. Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's fine. Everybody so come all back. All of Storm Let's Herald just... is now in the plane of de dread, directly above the still burning castle Ravenloft. Really, come back, come back, come back. Uh, but uh, shouldn't I try and get us out of here? No, who cares about Storm Herald? Let's just leave. I care about Storm Herald. I reach down <laughs> and I'm gonna grab a chunk of rend and stick it in my bag for a later resurrection. Gotcha. And I'm gonna look over it. Has a chunk of rend. I know, but that chunk of rend <laughs> um, might have issues. Uh, mm -hmm. So she's going to grab another chunk of rend, stick it in her bag, look at Whittle and say, you know, I think there's nothing left of uh, Storm Herald that's ours. Uh, that that uh, ooze thing um, did all of the tunnels underwards, under everything, and uh, everything is just massive tunnels, and it used freely in order to lure us here, and this whole thing has been a trap. Let him have Storm Herald. I'm actually okay with that because Storm Herald, it, it didn't have indoor plumbing, so I'll just get another floating city. It, it, it's fine. We got right. Rend. Let's get out of here. And I'm going to motion to everybody to come close. Do I I'm have any? Do I have any reason to believe that I can initiate some sort of self destruct? <laughs> uh, you do. Well, I mean, he's almost destructed it many, many times. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, the inside of Storm Herald I've is. Been learning, I've been learning this thing, so uh, yeah. I mean, either self destruct. If I can't self destruct, I'm angling her down towards the castle. Like what's you, left you, of the you, castle? You want our ship? You can have it. You know. You do so... see the the red energy turn into mist, and it heads towards Castle Ravenloft. It's leaving. Yep. The moment I feel like it's leaving, I try and jump us to the plane of fire. I know I know she said come back, but if I feel like I can do it, I'm going to do it. Okay. Let's see if it jumps. I don't know. All right. Is that your action? Anyone else? Yep. I'm like, wait, wait I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. He's leaving. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm waiting for him to come out of yeah. there, so I'm not doing anything until he comes out because I was going to plane shift us. <laughs> I, I could be right next to Freely um, to make an Arcana check if, if anything goes wrong. Okay. Uh, Freely, for a moment, your eyes go white. And you are just floating in outer space. I, I did not consent to this. <laughs> and you hear a familiar voice. Buddy! Uh -huh. That wasn't the deal! You haven't fulfilled your side of the bargain. Guess we we about this. I thought no, you we, and I were friends. No, we killed him like twice. What are you yeah. Talking? What, what about mean, the like, laboratory? That was what, the thing that I wanted you to destroy. We, we did. We blew it up. It was full of all the, the fire stuff. It, there, was, there, was, there was a significant explosion. I still feel them freely. No, no, I, I understand. This has been very what? difficult. So if you would like to, you know, walk back the agreement... I can walk you back as well. First of all, first of all, I will cut my way out again. But look, if we got to destroy it, fine, fine. I'll destroy it. Put me back in my body. I can't do anything from here. And I don't like this. Stop it. You pop back in. Oh, man. Whittle! Whittle! What? what? Really? I'm right here. You okay? We, 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 uh, we, we got to destroy the lab. We got to destroy the lab. There's, it's still, Castle Ravenloft is still intact. Uh, Whittle has used her boots of speed and she's already there. <laughs> you, wait, you're all, you wait, hold up. <laughs> wait, and, and are they talking about the apparatus? Because I have that. Well, we they, we were tasked to destroy Strahd's lab, which apparently the explosion <gasps> oh, we set off it, was not sufficient in the castle. It I destroyed mean, the entire castle. Apparently, it didn't destroy it enough. Like freely is just like flipping switches on the weapons to just bombard <laughs> Castle Raven. <laughs> Can I? I mean, do I need to run over there? Because I will. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I do call for you. I, I you're in the you. air. You can't quite yeah. run so fast that you can fly. Uh, uh, I, 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 I can feather fall, but it'd probably well, be faster for me to stay on Storm Herald and just yeah, jump no, I, off. I, I, I thought you were coming to me to help me with the weapons. We've established Storm Herald has weapons. That is true. Storm Herald has a, several ballistas and catapults as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I look over yes. at Penelope, who is still a brontosaurus, and I'm like, uh, is now the time that you're supposed to change into a sperm whale and we'll drop you on the ca what's left of the castle? All of these ravens have landed on Penelope, <laughs> sensing that she is friendly. <laughs> so there's just this brontosaurus with all of these 
all of these ravens just kind of picking off debris like anytime some insidious shadowfell bug tries to like nip at penelope ravens just pick it off of her you just i don't you just want to live in a world where <laughs> brontosaurus is not just as good as a whale for dropping on top of things purposes okay? oh my I mean, god that's true that's true there are legs and things and the whale doesn't have those. Don't tempt Penelope, she will do it. You know this. We I know that's why like I'm saying it. Stuff. Yeah, right. No, but they need you to survive. <laughs> Whittle, you sense uh because this is the first vampire and you are very much connected to it. He is weak. I um I I think I want to run to the lab on Storm Herald and grab a whole bunch of alchemist fire. I, I think I have a few on me. Give it okay. to me, and I will just jump in and blow it up and but walk we, away. We also have catapults on Storm Herald, so Put you're welcome to, to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that could be your superhero <laughs> movie shot. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of alchemist fire from the lab on Storm Herald. Uh, and run back, hand a few to Briv, and then load uh, however many catapults we have on the ship with the alchemist fire. Okay. I will say um, any explosion, like the castle being completely exploded, like it's still there and it's very much on fire. If something survived that explosion, it's not going to be hurt by any catapults or ballista coming off of Storm Herald itself, probably. Wow. Yeah, and I just sort of, I'd like very much come back down the stairs, like very disappointed, and I'm like, you guys, I think we gotta go back into the castle and finish destroying the lab and maybe try it. I don't understand what could possibly be left of that place. It's, oh, you know, the, the thing, the god brain, the god brain said our deal was not resolved because the lab is not destroyed yet, and it's not gonna let us go until we do it. I don't know what was left either. It seemed pretty final. When when I could sense that he was weak, could I also kind of get a sense of where he is? Um, let me think about that. What's everyone else doing? I'm gonna make your life easy, Todd. Whittle, you want to know where he is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast Locate Creature on Strahd. Excellent. You got all your spells back. This is great. That I got everything true. back. and Oh, I my had... God. You do have all your spells back. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I was yeah. dead for a while, and I still want to kill Strahd. So, sure. So, I mean, if the Elder Brain is going to be pissy about things. Yep. I was I was tempted to banish the Elder Brain from, from Freely, but I'm like, ah, sure. Revenge first. Elder Brain second. So, yeah, I can locate uh, Creature. I know you, exactly where Strahd is. For a moment, you... Um, the, all of Storm Herald kind of disappears around your Kara, and you find yourself, like, standing on top of, like, maybe a single inch of water all around you in complete, utter darkness. And this place, and you see this column, this amber column, and nothing else as far as the eye can see. And you've, you have sensed death and hate. This is something else. This is like the, the pillar of Ravenloft that you find yourself in for a moment. And you see a coffin at the base of this pillar. And you feel even just thinking about this location is draining life out of you almost immediately. You just feel the life force disappearing and you think this is something what you know as the negative material plane where nothing can survive unless it's undead. And you pop back out and you know exactly where he is in the castle. There is a small plane within a plane at the very base of the cliff. Okay, I know where he is. He's in a plane within a plane. <laughs> uh, in a coffin, which a is really cliche. I'm sorry, what? Uh, it, do you know where the, the, the plane within the plane is? Yeah, it's right over there. It can't be more than a thousand <laughs> feet away. 
Yep. Right over by the... So it's not like actually... tiny hut within the O2 Duke's resilient sphere within... Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, ne ne negative material plane hut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. It's, it's... Um, so the... Pl plane duckin. So the <laughs> the plane duckin is not in the castle. It's at, like, the bottom of a cliff nearby? No, a castle raven loft is kind of on top of a cliff. And so yeah. within the very foundations of that, that is where this bubble is. Okay. So, like, uh, yeah, it's at the, the bottom. And he's in a coffin in the negative material plane. But yeah, right there. And I'm going to keep concentrating on this for up to an hour. So I know where he is all the time. So if he moves, I will know. So stereotypical. So melodramatic. He's going to yeah. sleep in a coffin, seriously? Yep. I mean, I guess the whole negative material plane is kind of different, but yeah. If we go there, are we just going to die or? I have uh, no idea. Uh, anyone with higher arcana can make a check. Guess who's not that? <laughs> Probably not check. really. Uh, I, I, I rolled a one, but it's a 16. <laughs> <laughs> For, yeah. For Alindra, that's still enough. Yes, you'll die right away. Like, uh, like the moment, like unless you are some kind of like undead like creature, you cannot pass through. Do I count as an undead creature? <laughs> as no, we have previously established, uh, um, okay. dump here, dump here, the undead type. You they are the that, undead that's type. That's a DM call. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You're not technically undead, but I will say you are <laughs> blood of his blood. Uh, <laughs> so you are a relation. Okay. So you might survive it. Might. I just I turn and look at Briv, and I'm like, you know, that that thing you do where you don't die. I mean, that's sort of like a one-time thing. It's not like continuous not death, right? Freely, I am not certain that I can actually die under any circumstances, to be honest, because I have seen my death, and this is not how I die. But um, I can withstand a great deal of anguish and pain, and acutely, I can withstand even more for, for an instance. I can live anywhere for a few minutes. Well, I... Well, hey, I'll tell you what, if you go down there and this doesn't work out, I'll make sure we bring you back and then you can die that other time that you think is final. So, hey, hey, hey. Well, then I would be right because that's what is going to actually happen when I die. So. so I thought, um, Griff is not technically alive. Hmm. That is very existential. Well, so once we get it, someone gets in there. What do they do? Finish him. Stick Destroy him with the pointy it. end. Okay. Or can we bring them through somehow? Yeah, pull the coffin out of there. That would be I apologize. I but I am not very certain as to what goal we are trying to accomplish. We want to kill Strahd. I'm straight on that. Finish Strahd. Destroy the lab. Leave this place and never the... return. Okay. I can get behind all of that, but I'm not certain. Why are we... Why don't we just go in there and do those things? Well, because, but... because um, we're trying to figure out when we get there how we do it without all dying. Also... Um, does it look like there's actually any way to get into what's left of the castle? I mean, there was a giant explosion that destroyed the castle. Do, is there now a castle again? Oh, no, the, the castle's actively on fire, for sure. But there are, like, not all parts of it are on fire. Just most of it are on fire. So you can probably find pathways around the alchemist fire and the explosion and everything else. It's also been cracked open a bit. Okay, so Strahd is really bad at traps. Alindra, can you still do the gate that gets us to the lab? <laughs> not not anymore. Not today. Okay. Um, I, can, I mean, I can dimension door, but that, that will only get two of us there. I do have an enormous amount, and thou dost always chide me for this, 
but I do have an enormous amount of garlic in the bag of holding. <laughs> I mean, that's oh, always a good thing. Is that what you have in there? Oh, it smells terrible. It's okay. The, it's the god spice. Uh, I mean, so, the god spice? Yeah, clearly. It's, uh, okay, so <laughs> apparently, bombarding this thing from the air is not the move. Only Whittle and hopefully Briv can survive going to where Strahd actually is. So do we want to go down there, get as close as we can, you mm -hmm. guys finish him, find the lab, we destroy the lab, and then we leave? Well, yeah, we know... The... I think that's a good idea. Uh, yeah. What if what if um, I dimension Doris into the castle and you all take care of the lab? Um, Briv, if you want to come with me to get Strahd, I welcome you, but it's, it's not safe. Is nothing we do is safe. That's true. No, we're not. Nothing we do is safe. Yep. Is this so? We is this the same type of amber that we've seen in the the pods where we found um, our friend in Netheril and the Netherese? No, they're not. No? no, and it's not the same as the amber golems we found with the Noron, correct? That is correct. Amber in color, but not physically made out of amber. Okay, got it. Sorry. Whatever we do, we got to do it. All right. I mean, or or I get the elder brain out of your brain, really, and we just leave. <laughs> if we just leave, Strahd's going to come back. He'll do all this again. He'll hurt these people. He'll find a way out of here. We got to finish him while we can. I'm not very certain that won't happen anyway, but it's fine. I'm great with killing a vampire lord. Let's do I it. I just walk to the edge of Storm Herald. I'm like, anybody still got a feather fall? Uh, anything? <laughs> I walk over and I'm like, I am not a feather, but I can help you fall. I well, can. I, I can. I'm surprised really well. even asked before jumping. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, well, that's two of six. Does everybody have a way down? Because Briv's got to hold on to his standard way down. You can land Storm Herald just, a, a, you know, off to the side. Bring certainly bring it, of the castle. Low? Can we bring it like twenty feet? Like I don't, I don't want Lou Garou and stuff getting on board Storm Herald. Uh, well, I, there is a drawbridge on Storm Herald, so you can lower the drawbridge. I mean, it's pretty useless yeah. and hasn't really come up a lot. But for boarding of uh, other fl flying citadels, yes, you can right. actually like come along the side of it. That'd Excellent. be good because then Penelope yeah. can stay as a brontosaurus. Excellent. Because well, that's kind of awesome. If we can bring Storm oh. Herald down without like completely being like Horus of Ravenloft, come on down, <laughs> then yes, let's do that. Yeah. Penelope? Tell me about bron brontosaurus. Uh, they are gargantuan. <laughs> they are unaligned. <laughs> <laughs> they are unaligned. <laughs> Brontosauruses are definitely good aligned. Yeah, it's Especially the Penelope kind. Yeah. What's what's the strength on a Brontosaurus? 21. So strong off the charts. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Uh, I, okay. Freely, go ahead and give me some type of... <laughs> I will allow you to burn... Yeah, I know, I know. It's always terrible. Um, go ahead and give unless me an int. Unless it's dex or charisma. <laughs> okay, int you say? Oh, go with God, y'all. Uh, let's see. You that know is... what? You got divine sense, though. I do. Yeah, I'm gonna let yours divine sense. Sent you sense aberrations somewhere in the castle for sure. Ah, uh, you guys, it's worse down there than we think. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. You know what? This isn't us. We're talking too much. Okay. Briv, Whittle, Finistrad, Akira, Alindra, Penelope, me. Find the lab, destroy it. We all go home. We never come back. Everybody ready? Uh, sounds down. like a plan. Oh, can, can, can I offer one small suggestion, which is we all go together to destroy the lab. We all go together to destroy Strahd because mm -hmm. I've got the locate on Strahd and Penelope and I are the people that can plane shift us out. So if we stay together and we need to get out of here. I thought you said we won't survive where Strahd is, but maybe Briv and Whittle can. Yes, but I can get you to like yeah. the place. So, so I, I think we should. Would you works, like to take a look so at? I don't know what the problem is. The chaos magic that just struck Alindra. <laughs> that does. You I know, uh, to, to have that knowledge. Oh. I I don't. Oh oh, I'm in the wrong place. Hang on. Yes. Wait, is in in party chat and stuff. Oh, game oh, chat. It's in group. Oh, that's handy. Which which mm. uh, I'm excited about this. Which one are you going to talk to? 
I, I mean, I certainly have someone who I converse with from time to time. Um, and I know this is not necessarily the most uh, uh, convenient place for any of our, our deities. However, there is knowledge to be learned everywhere you go. And therefore, I will take up my, my amulet and begin to pray to Ogma. Um, I am able to converse with a divine power for one minute to draw upon them for insight into my upcoming actions. They may know more about the planes than I do. Uh, they may not know more about what is happening here. Uh, I mean, it's Ogma. They're going to know more about everything. They know. They know all the things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's Ogma. It's like I, I am, right, I am right there with uh, the Steinus. Yeah. Ogcyclopedia. <laughs> what are you also doing, Arcara? So are you are you waiting for Alindra to finish hers? Did you both get the same thing? No, I no. didn't get it. She got a long rest. Ah. Okay, gotcha. Still, that will crack me up if Strug off long rest. I'm like, okay, everybody, this is gonna go another two adventures. This is gonna be great. Um, okay, so you pray dogma. How do you pray dogma? I, I take the, uh, my amulet and I reflect upon the things that I have learned along this journey, the things I've acquired from legend lore, all of the pieces of information that I have obtained and sought out, um, the way that I have shared knowledge as I go. Uh, and and been shared with um, by those I've met. And I take my quill and a piece of paper and I begin to write. Okay. So uh, my sense is Agma would channel because one of the items I have is a is a holy quill of Agma. That's my special pen that I don't give away. <laughs> Perfect. And so my, my my sense is that the quill would be the vessel through which Agma would return that information. Does the quill write without you, or does it write like through Amak writing? Uh, yeah. Normally, I control it, but I, I think if Agma takes control, uh, Agma take the wheel. Agma take. Uh, the quill. Yeah, Agma's taking the wheel and starts <laughs> writing. Um, you do uh, at the same time get a vision. You see every you see everyone but uh Whittle and Briv. Oof, wow. Okay. You see everyone but Whittle and Briv go to this laboratory. Setting fire at it. You see freely deeply angry and upset. You feel rage coming from Freely. You see Briv step into this sphere of complete darkness and you feel not only his life force, but his entire soul dissipate. Whittle passes through, fine. And then you feel the entire world shaking around you as, is, as if some type of evil has dissipated. And that's what you get. What do the words on the page say? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not going to. Uh, I was going to do something terrible. Um, not in keeping with Ravenloft uh, and very hill giant -y. Um, I'm not going to make fun of Ogma. Hmm. Don't mock knowledge. I know. Uh, let's go See? back. See, even in retorting it, you know. Exactly. Like, Bro, no. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it writes, uh, only the, the Dampier can enter into the darkness. Beware Freely's rage, but it is not misplaced. You will save everyone. 
if anyone steps into the darkness, their soul will be extinguished and something else will come back with them. Okay. Do you tell the rest of the party? Oh, yes. Or is everyone reading over her shoulder? Whittle is trying to see over her shoulder. <laughs> I've got a 30 passive I perception. Angle it down I see slightly. it from I see it from halfway across of Storm Herald. Penelope's you're like, you're like flapping above her. <laughs> Penelope's giant long neck is like craning over on top of them. I need fan art. <laughs> Whittle, Whittle is, is using one of her lenses to try and get a closer look. Let's say Freely doesn't Angling notice it at all, but, but it's over with Briv. Like, no, man, we got this. We got this. Like, okay, it's a place of unspeakable evil. We beat him like twice now. We just got to one more time. We're good. Hey, no, hey, Freely. Briv, come here a second. Take a look. Take a look. And I think you arrive just as the quill finishes writing <laughs> by itself and then just sort of lies flat on the page. And I take it and I put it back in its case and put it away. Hey, um, Alindra, I saw it, it said something about me. Can, yes. Can you, you tell were, me what it, what it said? You are the only one who can enter the darkness. Anyone else who enters uh, will have their soul extinguished and something will come back with them. Well, you know what, that's fine because um, uh, I don't want anyone else going down there and I've, I've been alive for like 400 plus years. <laughs> and I look forward to a good fight. Well, hopefully it's not a fight. Hopefully you show up and he's sitting in a coffin being... I'm, yeah, he's got yeah. like one hit point and he's in a coffin, right? How, how hard could this be? Uh, mm. Brev, you, you, I mean, you, you can't, you can't go, man. Like you, if you do it, you don't come back. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I am very confused about what is happening and I am fine to just do as I am told in this one instance. Um, it's obviously not me that is showing any kind of um, fear over my fate, because as I have told thee, I do not die here. But if it's going to make everyone else feel better, then I will not go. Um, Whittle, do you want me to go with you to the doorway? Don't go, I won't go in, but I'll go with you to show you where the place is, because I, I got a bead, and then I can be there when you get back. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Like when you go to a doctor's office and you got a friend or a family member waiting outside the door for you, I think that would be that would be great. Thank yeah. You. All right. Uh, well, you know, you know what, Briv? Uh, apparent, apparently, uh, I see something unpleasant down there. So you know what? I'm I'm gonna need your help. I I can't, do, Briv. I can't do it. I can't do it on my own, Briv. I need your help to finish our part of the mission. I fear my strength is waning. Uh, okay, Th these are far too many words, um, and especially for someone such as thee, Freely. So and let let us go. Yes, taking them do down. The things. Yep, I lower the ship. Okay, you uh, lower the drawbridge, and you connect with what <laughs> remains of Castle Ravenloft. Uh, you do have a sense of where the labor laboratory is. It is kind of surrounded by i would say about an inch of iron all around it i mean well several inches of iron all around it freely you do know that uh you suspect that perhaps penelope is strong enough to make make a portal <laughs> I, I mean yeah, I, I, there's nothing penelope can't do um so just to be clear our path has yet to diverge right like i guess because the goal is to stay together as long as we can and then switch it you know part when we have to so Yes. But I just like ah, uh, uh, Pene Penelope. Pene oh wow. Oh, but like, wait, you're so big, but like your head is the same size. How's that work? <laughs> <laughs> and still looks like Penelope's head. I hope. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, uh, which it is Ravenloft. This is a place of horror. Poof <laughs> of like, like, like red auburn hair. <laughs> and and on the back is this tiny little shrub cloak. <laughs> I'm like, uh, w would you mind uh, doing your thing here? Just, uh, just the uh, not knock right here, Penelope. Uh, Penelope will kind of, kind of just like wiggle as she kind of like does that cat thing <sighs> before they're about to pounce, <laughs> and then just run into whatever he was pointing at. 
<laughs> you okay? So what happens is we see uh, we we see Penelope as a Brontosaurus run into Castle Ravenloft, heading down a series of stairs, and like what was once a sacred temple, and just like just bulldozes at a a, a, a diagonal angle just into castle ravenloft burrowing just stomping the whole way and then finally cracking open the uh the iron shell around the dungeon that has been housing the laboratory you do have a bit of a crick in your neck though penelope because (laughs) yeah yeah. you're not you didn't say triceratops so (laughs) well done Lots well, of zo- straw zombies are don't very move upset. In herds. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you get to the laboratory. Uh, as, and there's just dust everywhere. As as we're walking in there, um, I'm going to look around at everybody and see that everybody's pretty hurt. And I'm going to start uh, offering some cure wounds. All right. Who, who needs some while we're entering no. super dangerous Please. territory? Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, 50% over here. I'm I'm at a third. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna yeah. make me oh, last priority. Be- if you have anything left over, I could use a few hit points. If I make me last priority yeah. because I can touch myself. Not in and... public. We've discussed this so many times. <laughs> Holy Briv. energy courses through That's my not, veins. Not Briv, when I think about you, I want you to touch yourself on the head. <laughs> All right, of course. No. and heal what, yourself. I'll take care ki- of everybody else. Where didn't thou think I was touching myself? Well, I've always thought that you kind of did here, like in your chest, uh, but I found it's better, like, you know, face palm, if you're going to heal yourself. You're going to touch yourself. You. My heal divine everybody energy is tied else. to mine heart, <laughs> not mine head. Lauren and Adam mm. are not invi- va- invited to my vampire game, so. <laughs> <laughs> Freely, freely is pouring into the dungeon. As after, after I get healed, he's just kind of just like antsy back and forth. And the moment the healing hits, all right, I, I'm doing this in a weird way, but it's just because I've got other things. Uh, Alindra, you get eight back, and then I'm gonna do, um, uh, Whittle, you get one, and then I'm gonna start doing some stuff at higher levels. So forgive me. We're gonna do, uh, we'll get. We'll get a Linda again for 13 because I'm going to start doing a couple of second levels and Whittle for 14. Uh, Total? Uh, not, so it was whatever that first number was and whatever One the second and number 14. was. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Because um, I, I have a thing that I can do that is separate from my spells. So I have 69 hit points. Nice. 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 Uh, Linda, how Real you doing? nice. <laughs> I'm uh, I, I'm I'm a, around halfway. I'm still bleeding quite heavily. Okay. And uh, uh freely where are you? Uh 50%. Okay. Let me let me get both of you with uh one more healing. Uh we'll do a Where is the cure wounds? There it is. Okay. Um Yep, Alindra, you're going to get 25 more. Thank you. And freely. Oh, that was an awful roll. Wow. Third level awful roll. Nine. I'll take it. Well, yeah. in Strahd's defense, last last game was nothing but crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> crap rolls all the time. I mean, mm-hmm. I didn't get to roll. Uh, okay, so uh, so I'm kind of doing that as we're coming on in. Every um, once in a while, I just come, like, come up to someone. I'm like, oh, let's yep. just patch that up. And let's as just we're put doing that, that back. I, I put my hand on Freely's shoulder. Um, I say I know that you're going to get angry here and that's fair just make sure you're pointing it in the right direction do you understand? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah you know I mean come on how bad can it be really you know it's just it's, bad it's like it can be bad okay I got it I got it and if I don't got it, uh, banish me to the prime material. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <laughs> and like turn on the sun blade right, right at that second. Like, no, it's gonna be okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. You turn the sun blade, and the uh, the dust and the smoke hasn't quite uh, dissipated yet. And you walk forward into this giant hole, and you you move. I imagine you walk underneath the the big stump like legs of Penelope as you move. 
being careful not to cut her with the sun blade. <laughs> yeah. And you're... Uh, uh, oh, good! I, I'm so glad you're here! I'm saved! Uh, what? And through the mist, you see a freely emerge. I have true sight on. With white eyes. What? Uh... Oh. And a robe of eyes. Yeah, it's an aberration. You get, mm. you get, what kind? He looks younger than me. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. So you were sent for us. No, 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 no. Listen, we can make you a much better, a uh, better deal. Oh. So we decided not to be part of the brain. And we're uh -huh. with Strahd now. Right. And originally they were working together, right? Yeah. Uh, to make something new, something special, something yeah. vampiric. Yeah, we saw. And and like a little, you see as this version of Freely talks, his jaw kind of opens up in the very center and becomes mandibles. And so, no, wait, 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 don't react. Don't react. See, everything's fine. I'm not ah. attacking you. Right, yeah. It's just the Elder Brain agreed to give your essence to Strahd to experiment Great. with. Freely, can just, I just kill one, thee? One, or? Just one, one quick question. One quick question. How many of you are there down here? You see a few hundred Freelys at different stages of <sighs> metamorphosis into right. different lithids. Cool. Hey, I think uh, my math might here. be off, but uh, fireball from my flame stand. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, go and roll it. Yeah. I, I'm just like, oh, okay, all right, all right. right. <laughs> and, and you all see this. You see tanks filled with freelies, and some of them are like just split down the middle, half a lithid, half freely. Some of them are vampiric. Some of them are, their brains have enlarged and engorged to the point that their skulls have cracked open. Did I hear correctly that the quote unquote elder brain gave freely's essence to uh -huh. Strahd? Wants promised. You. Promised. Yeah. Um, is mm -hmm. that a lie or was that the truth? I, I mean, with we, my I, passive insight of twenty, or would you like me to roll? Well, I don't feel passive insight's going to do it, but mm -hmm. you can roll. Okay, mm -hmm. that's cool. Uh, rolled ah. hot garbage. Uh, only twenty-seven points of damage, and they get a deck seventeen. But theoretically, the 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 tanked up and like moored ones theoretically, hopefully, are just going to get burned up. Yeah. Uh, freely. Mm -hmm. In the most horrible way. And there is an inkling, because there's a lot of death in this place. Perhaps you have lived many lives in this laboratory, but none. And it's telling the truth. And what was that fire fireball damage? 27, but the, technically there's a deck 17 save. Well, they all don't have deck saves, but that one does. So, yeah, just like nope, no. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Nope. Two doesn't like do it. Yep. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. The whole I laboratory just suddenly explodes. Tell me how this laboratory explodes. The fireball goes off, and you see the tank shatter, and like the versions of Freely kind of like rolling over and burning things, and he doesn't stop. He's just kind of like nope. Uh -uh, nope, and just is about to walk right into the fire with the sun blade. <laughs> like, nope, uh uh, nope, making sure, killing every one of the. Nope. Mm -mm. I just, put my hand on his shoulder right. to prevent him from walking into the fire. Look at this! They're gonna come back! How long has this been happening? What, what, what do you, how do they even know that I'm real? What is, what? Freely? You're real because you're here. You see your skin start to steam as you've like walked too far into the flames at this point, mm -hmm. really. And Orkira is not burning, but you can kind of see your own flesh start to crisp as you've gone too close to the fire that you just started. Hey, Freely, that elder brain, you had said that it was in a place and where it was dying, right? Y yes. Would you it's like it? Would you like it to die faster? Wait. 
We're here for Strahd. We're here for Strahd? We're here for Strahd. We are. But after Strahd... Yes! That's all I need to know. Do I and feel it, like I'm oh, sorry, do I feel like I've done enough structural damage that this is this is sufficient? When you say yes, freely. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Good. Perfect. Get back to me on that. What's everyone else doing as everything's on fire and there's a Brontosaurus inside of Castle Ravenloft and I love you all. <laughs> after, after I ride I'm... the Brontosaurus into battle. <laughs> like you do. I'm running a dinosaur game just for you, Adam. I, I... <laughs> it's it's self-validating. What, what were the toys with the laser guns? I never dino got riders. one. Dino, or not uh, dino bots. That was a Transformers dino riders. No, I still, dino, have, yeah. Yeah, I still have my Grimlock. He still so, like cuts me when I build him. Grimlock. Yeah. Me Grimlock. Once yep. Whittle hears that Freely's essence has been promised to Strahd, she misty steps away and makes her way towards Strahd. Do you know where to go? Because I'm the one concentrating on locate. Did creatures. you tell me where he was? I said he was at the bottom of a cliff. I think can I use that information? DM? I'm going to go ahead and say that the, the dark side is strong with you being that this is a blood relation and yeah, you are honing in on it and you are walking through the still burning, falling pieces of Castle Ravenloft with a great deal of satisfaction, especially after like many years ago having like tusk catapults filled with zombies full of alchemist fire. This is the moment. This is that time. You want your revenge on Strahd. And you're watching his entire home burn and stone melt around you as you are walking down stairs, through cracks in the wall and the floor, spider climbing upside down in ways only that you yourself can do. And eventually, there is no stone. There is only pure darkness and a pillar of amber. And you sense nothing but death all around you and you see a coffin so using the dark vision that she has because of what she is she approaches the coffin and contemplates if she should destroy him within it or if she should open it she looks around the room for any clues Anything that Strahd may have done before he climbed inside of his coffin. Can I make an investigation check? You can. 29. It's a very old coffin. Cracked and broken. You can even see inside. With that check, you can tell that many people have opened this coffin. But it's rotting, splintered. I can see inside of it. Yeah, you can see one of his red eyes glowing, slightly closed, his body reforming. And you can see his beating heart inside the coffin. As I reach for the lid of the coffin to pry it open, as it has many times before. I armor myself. How so? With, sh with shield. Uh, that's I a reaction. Prepare, I prepare to react with armor. Okay. And as I lift the lid and I see his red eye and his beating heart, I prepare to fire one singular moat at his heart. His weak beating heart. And I do so. As she lowers one lens, she looks down. And you see one weak fire moat hit his chest. Oh. 
I will roll for damage. You don't have to. Okay. A single moat leaves your eye and enters his heart. And it burns away, sort of burning away his heart. And a hand reaches out from Strahd, his eyes open, and grabs your throat. And the fire just burns him all the way from the heart inside out until only his left hand is gripping your throat. And he turns into dust, and the entire room starts shaking, and the darkness dissipates. And all of you feel Castle Ravenloft start to shake and fall apart. Does my locate creature still activate? Because I can concentrate on it for an hour. Uh, yes, it does. Do I feel Strahd? Strahd is gone. And Whittle at this time, all that dust just flows past your eyes and your eyes become almost like cat's eyes as something you have severed from your entire bloodline. You've just killed the first vampire. Your connection to vampirism. And even though you feel no emotion, tears of blood are coming out of your eyes. This hurt. This was like cutting off a limb. And you sense he's gone. And Orcari, you sense he's gone. I look around. I'm like, I don't know where Whittle went, but she just took care of him. I don't feel him stride anymore. As Whittle wipes away the blood tears, does she feel different? Does she feel weaker, stronger? No. The same? The same. But you could be more. You sense you could be more. You could stay. Whittle climbs into Strahd's coffin and takes a long rest. Um, long rest is eight hours. Uh, Castle Ravenloft is falling apart. Can I ask for a little bit more information about how, like, what's your intention with entering Stra Stra uh, Strahd's coffin? Sorry. She feels that she could be more, and she's so little right now. Whittle is little. She feels weak after this fight. She needs a rest. Okay. Um, Strahd's, okay, or Gary, you since the Strahd is dead, Castle Ravenloft starts, starts falling apart. Um, <laughs> and then it stops falling apart. And you get a very bad feeling. All of you. And you hear a thunderclap in the sky. I'm still concentrating. Is Strahd back? No. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, over the telepathic link. Uh, may I reach out to Widow? Uh, 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 oh, she's on Widow, do you let, she? do you, yeah, yeah. Widow, are you still part, willingly part of the telepathic link? Sorry, I'm just dealing with this in real time, so. <laughs> um. Yes, Widow is still part of the telepathic link because honestly, she's kind of a light sleeper. Whittle. Okay, Alindra, what do you say? Whittle, where are you? Um, so I killed Strahd. Good news. Bad news is, um, I'm pretty tired, and I don't think I have enough energy to come up there. So I I'm just gonna take a little nap, and then I'll, I'll meet up with you all. What do you Later. mean, c come up? I mean, we can come down to you. Do you? No, you don't you... want to do that. Remember, it's not safe. What well, can you just get out of the the? Plane. We're and not then... planning to be here soon. Okay, good night. And she closes the coffin door. If this is where she wants to be, then we can leave her to be here. 
Do you want to leave her in a domain of eternal torment? If this is where she wants to be, if I wanted to stay here, none of thou could stop me. <clears throat> one will remain behind. One, one could. I remember that. One might. No, I pretty much said it would happen. No, he said might. That was the whole thing. Uh, what over the to you, Griff? I think oh. that is some very, very loose interpretation of that prophecy. You know, he also offered us a bunch of stuff that told and told us that we needed to go get it. And a, a lot of the stuff didn't help at all. And over the telepathic bond to Whittle, I'm going to say, the castle has stopped getting destroyed. Is that you? Oh, wait, was it, um, is it not totally destroyed? Is it getting rebuilt? Is it getting rebuilt or is it just not falling apart anymore? Okay. So we're clear. <laughs> Cause I want to be very clear about what's happening. Cause yeah, I'm like this feels clear. like it, it's a um you feel an emotion. Whittle. Are you taking ownership? You feel a a voice in your head. Is this realm? yours now when she hears that voice she feels like she could make the realm better so that this doesn't happen to anyone ever again and she wants her friends to move on but she also just met her friends so she's undecided you've known me for like 120 choice. something years you being the exception <laughs> to everything there is a season people enter and leave our lives Megan you have messages in chat I'm just going to say yes, that I also, see them yeah. uh, so or Orca is going to look around is there has the the castle stopped getting destroyed is it rebuilding or is it just kind of in a state of it is starting to rebuild the bricks are starting to fly back up like time is moving backwards the flames have stopped and for those paladins in the group you feel a tremor a darkness ah uh... <laughs> little the if you don't get up here right now, we're going to leave you, okay? I know that. Um, does Whittle get a sense that if she sticks around that more harm is going to happen to the people of Barovia and her friends and family? I'm going to present you with two options. One is if you take ownership of this domain... Strahd will never come back again. However. He just left. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, I mean forever. However, if you take ownership of this domain, you become a domain lord of Ravenloft and you never get to leave ever again. That's it. What's my other You option? cannot leave Ravenloft. What was that? What's my other option? Uh, uh, I mean, leave. N not that. And <laughs> you do get the sense that you will be offered extreme power and you will have control over this domain, but nothing outside of it. And you can never, ever leave. And yes, you could absolutely be with Rend for the rest of your life, but you'll never see your friends again. And this is a place of death. As soon as Whittle thinks of Rend, she starts to reconsider. And then she starts to think of the pain that this would put her friends and family through. And as she dozes off to sleep, she opens her eyes and she's like, damn it. And opens up the coffin. And Dimension Door is back. <laughs> oh, hi. I suppose she changed her mind. Okay, so a plane of ice cream and milkshakes and then kill the alter brain? 
freely sets off another fireball in this room. <laughs> <laughs> He's so okay. No damage needed. Yeah, yeah. You've uh yeah, you you're it's it's done. In fact, you're you're like this may have been the third fireball, and now you're starting to like have to like pull him back. Right? You notice <laughs> if if we keep shaking the stick and no more fireballs come out, and if you drag him, Eldritch Blast are coming out of his eyes. Just shoot like shooting into the room the whole time he's being dragged out of here. Arcara, you sense even from, like, you can see the sky from the giant hole that the brontosaurus that is Penelope Halfpint has dug through Castle Ravenloft, even though R Castle Ravenloft has suddenly stopped rebuilding itself. You sense rage at something, as a, a deal that was almost made, as a soul almost bought, but was not given. Mist starts swarming around the Storm Herald. And okay. it starts becoming translucent. Uh, all right, on the Storm Herald. Uh, all right, really, what's Riddle, everyone doing? Do you want to get us out of here? I would say, again, if you. Freely's not very big, as much as I hate to admit it. Like, you guys can force him to move, but he keeps shooting. Like, he's trying not to leave, and it's just blasting, not saying is, anything. Is the domain dissolving the way that, that the last one did? No. This is a more powerful domain, and you, and you can absolutely sense that through your you, your arcane knowledge. Straw is, is such a fundamental part of Ravenloft itself. Not every not every domain of dread is, but he is a pillar. Uh, sensing that Freely is uh, resisting leaving, I would like to scoop him up and pick him and put him on the back of the Brontosaurus Penelope, facing backwards, so that he can continue to Eldritch Blast as Penelope moves out. Okay. But I'll be so. okay with this. All right, here we go. Well, Freely, you can keep blasting from there. <laughs> can we keep going, please? Thank you. I would say he's speaking a language that you guys have heard him speak before of the most vile and disgusting curses in Mind Flayer that he knows. <laughs> or Kira oh. makes note of all those to tell Merch <laughs> later because she's excited. Before you all leave, is there anything you take with you? I take Freely and Alindra and <laughs> Briv and Penelope and Whittle and uh, myself. Fair. There we go. What's what's in the lab? Hopefully not much because I'm doing everything in my power. Yeah, le legit not much. Uh, I'm totally <laughs> going to I'm going to ro roll on some treasure tables for you all from the lab mm -hmm. laboratory of anything that couldn't be burnt at the time. Uh, but yeah. We'll, we can work that out for sure. Uh, Whittle checks friend's body one last time for any additional pieces of heart and scoops up whatever is left. Okay. You uh, all get back onto Storm Herald? Whittle, um, I've got a piece as well. And tomorrow, um, I, I'll bring, I'll bring uh, friend back. Perfect. I just, I got to prepare that. Uh, I got to prepare that spell. So I can do that tomorrow morning. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that you can do that. I mean, I was preparing to, to clone him, but I mean, if you could bring back the real deal, yep, please do. Yeah, I'll, I'll just be kind of extra shaky for a while, but yeah, I can do that tomorrow. All right, tell me, uh, does everyone get onto Storm Herald? Briv runs back down to the negative energy room and jumps in the coffin. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does not. He, he gets on the ship. What a twist. Uh, okay, everyone gets on to Storm Herald, and you see it kind of dissipate, and you see the lands of Ravenloft slowly disappear. And you pop into the prime material plane above a mountain range. And you feel like your hearts are, are a little bit lighter. The Whittle, you passed up an opportunity. A chance at power and immortality. As she considers this, she knows that it was all worth it just to be with 
friend and her family and her friends again. And boy, I really hope that the people in Barovia are going to be okay, but something tells me at least they're going to be a little safer, a little happier without Strahd in charge. Yeah, power vacuums tend to uh, attract unsavory characters. Yeah, to be honest, I'm sure it's going to be terrible for them in another 10 day. She thinks about what Alindra says. But power and vacuums are better than people we care about being drawn mm -hmm. into the torment of that place. We can find plenty of torment for you here. Yeah, she kind of grumbles, <laughs> turns around, kicks a rock. I mean, yeah, we're going to have to fill in all of the tunnels in the bottom of Storm Herald if we're keeping this place. So is, is, is Storm Herald normal? Do it is. You're in the sunlight. You see clouds coming down the side of the mountains. You're safe. Can we take safe. a long rest? <laughs> okay, so I'll look at Alindra with, with all of the sight that she has. Are you sure we're in the prime material? We made it out. I, I, I but, can I tell? But between the robe eyes and true sight, yeah, you're in the prime material plane. Do I know where we are? Uh, you're somewhere on the outskirts of Faerun, yeah. I mean, you're on Faerun. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna take a little rest and get some spells prepared, and then tomorrow let's bring Ren back, okay? And then at that, uh, Briv reaches inside his, uh, tunic that you know has all kinds of extra dimensional spaces in it because it holds you know a, a flump in there um hmm. holds other you know things in there and uh then he's just take it take another little piece of Ren's heart or kira and um throws it no. at you as or kira catches that piece of Ren's heart whittle also hands over the remaining pieces of Ren's heart and also brings out a diagram from her pocket of the original mech suit i'm gonna spend some time tonight reassembling what i can um i will I do have this manual it might be helpful all uh, the limbs are gonna be backwards <laughs> we leave this up to our care listen listen the good thing about resurrection is all i really need is this and the rest happens. Uh, but the manual will be really good. Thank you. Um, I will also, just for good measure, uh, be casting protection from evil and good on all of the pieces to make sure that there aren't remnants left of Strahd in any of them, especially the heart, because I know we took the heart out while he was still possessed. So... Otherwise known as the sanitiz uh, sanitization spell. <laughs> yep, yep, I'm going to Lysol everything. It's going to be great. And, and you're ca going to cast Resurrection? Uh, yeah, I need a long rest so I can prepare the spell, but I will do it the next morning. So, do we also, get a long can rest? We, oh. Can we can we work on sanctifying this place, please? I can. Um, maybe tomorrow. Um, Sounds good. Yes. Yeah. Um, do we get a long rest? You get a long rest. Before the long rest, I would like to roll something real quick. As you're doing that, Whittle collapses into a deep, deep, long mm. sleep. And Briv just walks off, and under his breath, you hear him say, uh, uh, you know, I'm about to sanctify this place, and I sure am glad that we have that indoor plumbing. And he's <laughs> walking off. I imagine, right. Briv, that you walk into the kitchen, you just open the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> that ki entire kitchen just needs health hazard signs everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's, not, oh. it's not up to code. <laughs> Um, and the only other thing I'll do before I go take my long rest is uh, I'll take a moment with Freely and say, so plane of ice cream and milkshakes and then go kill an elder brain, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Wait, how, how many of those things were there? How many, how many of those things got, got loose? 
How many people did they hurt? Too many. But doesn't matter because what matters is we have you. And if we encounter any of those and they're going to attack us, we'll defend ourselves. You know, our life is crazy and we get bounced around from place to place. And I don't know if there's not a god or a monster or something waiting under the bed or in the next room going to teleport us off on some crazy adventure. But if it's up to me, we skip the ice cream and go straight for revenge. I'm okay with that. But like you've said before, maybe we just haven't earned it yet. But we will. And I'm glad that you're with us to do it. Thank you. I was going to say you didn't have to follow me in there, but I mean, I guess it wouldn't have burned you. And he just get up and walks to his room. It wouldn't have burned me, but that's not the point. The point is I do that to protect people. I'm going to go take a long rest. You all um, take a long rest. Freely, you go to your room. Everyone sleeps, I assume. <laughs> or at least tries to. <laughs> and you do feel better that you're not in Ravenloft. Freely, you wake up. You can hear birds chirping. It's morning. And you see a reflection in the mirror. For a moment, you see a little worm wiggling around in your iris. Oh, no. And you hear a voice. Really, you should be in charge. We can make a deal. It could just be you. You're the only one that matters. And will you wake up out of bed, and next to you is a coffin. <gasps> it's Strahd's coffin. And that's our adventure. Oh, good. Yeah, this is fine. It's all fine. Uh, Excellent place to stop. Yeah. No thank you all. all Did we not make in. it out of Ravenloft? I thought Alindra... You are most definitely not in Ravenloft. Okay. You are most definitely not in Ravenloft. You are in the Prime Material Plane. All right. Thank you all for joining us again. Uh, that was a lot, which I'm sure we've heard the last of, and next week's going to be fine. Uh, <laughs> as always, thank you to Hero Forge. Thank you to Sirenscape, because epic names need epic sound. Epic games need epic names sound. Names, too. I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> and Idol Champions. Uh, also, uh, take a look at Demiplane. You know, if you haven't uh, set up an account yet, maybe think about it. It is free and amazing. Uh, and with that, we will see you all next week. Later, Bye, games. everyone. <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait.